Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to take a look on the first impression for the Android Nougat running on the OnePlus 3T right here. Actually, this is OnePlus 3. This is OnePlus 3T. So uh, as promised by OnePlus, they are going to update uh, with the OnePlus 3 and 3T uh, on the 2016. So just to keep the promise in terms of update, they just given the final update on 31st December. Even though that's not a, a problem, everything is good, and we all loving Android Nougat update on the OnePlus 3 and 3T. Now if you have OnePlus 3 users, so already uh, it is running in the beta 10, so we have already got 7, 8, 9, 10, this is 4th update. But uh, for the official, and 3 and 3T both have got the same set of update, and they are compiled to the same version, they are running exactly the same Oxygen OS 4.0. And uh, since the update has been incremental, so you might get it a bit late too, and there is a kind of workaround too. You can install using the VPN service, free VPN or any other VPN software, just connect to Germany or some other servers. So for details, you can just check out the OnePlus forum. So a lot of people are able to update that in India still. So many guys have commented that they have updated. So you just need to use VPN service. Now I am running the beta versions because I need to you know, show you guys all the updates for the beta uh, everything. So. Now guys, let me share you my personal experiences. How did I install? Since I was installing the open beta one, so in case you guys are going to install open beta one on your 3T, so uh, if you're flashing on a rooted device, say your device is rooted and you're installing open beta one zip file, a flash file using the twerp, so you may be stuck in some situation like patching system image unconditionally. So the solution to that is you need to go here before even you guys stall, go to the, any of the file manager which shows the root directory stuff. So I should enable here, just give me a quick second. Yeah, show root usage. So if I just go here, so you can see I got right now 200 MBs of free. So make sure when you try to stall that, have at least 200 MBs of memory. Now how you should get to know like you have problem in case you got stuck on this screen for more than say a minute, two minutes. So definitely there is a problem. And before to even go that, make sure to take the twerp backup. Already have shown you how you can take the twerp backup. Just go to the twerp manager and there is a backup option. Select everything, all check all the item boxes like system cache, recovery flash, everything and take the backup. So that in case something happened, you again go back to the recovery. Then just click on this restore and restore everything else. So in that way, it will save you a lot of problem. And also in case you're doing ADB side load method, so you may get some error like peer to peer command reset or you can see I was doing this ADB side load and I got same problem like I mean four to five hours I was struggling with this you can say fail to read command connection reset by peer to peer. So the solution to this is that you can just if you got this error just reboot your computer because your phone won't boot it will be stuck in the Android logo so turn that off restart your computer and turn on your computer go back to the bootloader again run using ADV side load and try to stall that yeah you should have stock recovery otherwise you cannot do that so this is for scenario in case your phone is not rooted you're doing ADV you're going with ADV side load now if we talk about the OnePlus 3T so the official update and the open beta one is exactly same there is no such difference no so you might be thinking what is the reason for the open beta one it's like a program we are running on the OnePlus 3 if you have flashed the open beta one so you are going to get future open beta updates but if you install the official OTA you are not going to get any beta version you need to just wait for the company OTA updates that's the only difference so let's start taking a look on the first on the 3T so side by side we will see since everything is same you can see starting with the OnePlus launcher everything is exactly same here so right you can see all things are exactly same there is not a much difference so make sure to watch all my old oneplus 3 videos so so many things i have covered so let's go to the oneplus community app so on the front side you will get this is the official post from the tony oxygen s4.0 and means nougat for 3t so here's the update so both things are exactly common if i show you guys the same stuff here on the community app so you will see here exactly the updates are same so this is the update you can see both phones are on the same side same update page there's nothing new so beta 10 i guess is same for the beta 1 actually i'm just looking on for the more features i will let you guys know what other things came or not so there's a new notification design new layout this is for the community bill and you can just keep on increasing you will get that get this usual hamburger layout this is android nougat feature you get the multi-window support and let's try that out whether multi-window is working or not pin it here so you can see multi window is working so that's how you can do that using the hardware key so many people have asked to me how you can do that so i guess to uncomment from here you need to just 
successful that way it work right so this is how you work uh, there is a new direct notification reply there is a new dpi setting and you might be noticing that i have changed the fonts layout let me just give you guys a quick look so this is where i have changed the font all right now if i just go to the display setting here's the one you can see and this is called the pay adjustment i just made it small when you make it default you can see this is how you're going to get that uh, let me just bring to the home settings home so we are on the settings home you can see a new set of default dpi adjustments so it's pretty cool to adjust the dpi font so if just again go make normal so you get that so a lot of playlists i have created for oneplus 3 and then right you get updates and features so you definitely go and go and get that and along with that there is a further quick direct reply let me just send you guys a quick tweet here maybe you can guys feel all right guys i'm just going to send a quick text from here so for twitter it's not working i just sent a quick text here on this number so i should hopefully get you can see i got a reply if i just click here so i got a text hello i can click from here and it is gone so that's how you can get the quick notifications and some messages not sent hopefully i don't know so that's how i call quick reply you can just directly reply from here and one important point i do show you guys here so it's called a notification control so if you go to the some place let me show you guys a twitter again if i just send you here so these are some actually android yoga tips and tricks so you can see if i just click here so right now it is not showing any power control notification so you can make it block silence so that's standard so let me show you how you can do that now so you need to enable the system ei tuner so you need to just go around this click here icon for a couple of times once you feel it is spinning so you should system ei tuner uh, take some here's the one if i just activate it and leave it i got a message system ei tuner is activated now i should see here system ei tuner so understood this is go to other section just enable swipe to gesture and power control notification right now this time if i click here you can see you can easily control how you want to see whether your message should show you what kind of reply whether it should vibrate or not whether it should display on the status bar on this notification panel or not so there is a detailed video as said here all my playlists are full of with android nugget tips and tricks so you should go and check out there now it's time to see some performance things so personally i am using a 3t from a day yesterday night and i did not felt any issue a device is working pretty great i mean if you don't look on in terms of paper definitely both devices almost similar uh, just a bit of improved processor won't show you much difference hardly one or two second difference so i have already have done a speed test between the 3 and 3d when it was running marshmallow and i'm also just preparing to do another speed test because both are running android nougat so that is upcoming videos i will show you guys comparison with the uh, next pixel xl also now it's time to see uh, some benchmarking score so let's go and check out the geek and the end to benchmark score now it's time to see the N2 benchmark scores for the OnePlus 3T. This is 3T and this is OnePlus 3. So let's begin the test. So guys, we are about to complete the results and I did notice something here. I started the test at the same time both as you can see. And when I was running the test here in the meantime, uh, when it was a graphical processing test, OnePlus 3T was uh, just a second or two faster. But uh, when it comes to computing the internal hardware strategies, you can see here, OnePlus 3 is uh, again a slightly faster here. So initially OnePlus 3T was faster, now later OnePlus 3 was faster. So I don't really understand what is the reason. Maybe that is some different CPU cycle stuff. Anyway, both devices are working, working pretty great, same as performance usual. So you won't notice much on the day-to-day -day time. So here we got the score for the OnePlus 3 right here. First, 159045. And actually that is the highest I got till now. Oh my God, look at the OnePlus 3T score. That's really great, so faster. So this is the result of OnePlus 3 versus 3D. Now you guys might be wondering, uh, how about the OnePlus 3 performance? So take a look on this uh, open beta 7 to open beta 10. So the last time when I ran the open beta 10, uh, entity scores, it was 154, 446. Now it is 159045, so definitely uh, it's the same build, but I just decided the phone, so hopefully that increases the performance. But the OnePlus 3D really has a great score compared to the what we have seen for the oneplus 3 beta bus now so now it's time to run the geek benchmark and let's see how much score do we get on the geek now i will run it together so three two one all right let's see so we are about to complete the test result by the meantime we will take a look on this oneplus 3 open beta 7 to open beta 10 geek bench 4 results so 
scores were pretty uh, keep on increasing for the multi core not for the single core single cores are just nearly the same just difference of couple of you know 30s or 40s number otherwise uh, multi core is great and device works performance smooth so you can see well, but 3T here produces result much faster compared to the 3 here. Wow, we got 1892 much higher compared to the OnePlus 3. And the multi core 14327 is also higher. So, here's the difference. You've seen, guys, for the OnePlus 3, uh, the last open beta 10 I ran it was 4173. Now it is 4003. And, uh, but single core is definitely screen. So, guys, we have already seen the scores for both the devices when they are running Android Nougat. Now, I wanted to show you guys some results when they were running Android Marshmallow. So, for this, you can watch my previous video in, in which I have done the speed test with the OnePlus 3T and the 3, where both were running the latest Android 6.0.1. So, here is the scores of the Geek Benchmark when both were running the Android Marshmallow. So, right side we have OnePlus 3, left side we have OnePlus 3T. So, you can compare the same result uh, with our the latest one. So, this is the Android Nougat. But here's the score for the NT2 as you can see. Now if you compare the same with the latest NT2 results here, so definitely you can see the performance on the NT2 is as keeps on increasing compared to the Android Marshmallow. So that's it guys pretty much for this video and yes there is one giveaway going on for this month for the Google Pixel XL OnePlus 3, 3T and the Nexus 6P that is Rhino Shield. Uh, crash card and some tempered glasses too so watch my previous video you have one month still left you can win this awesome 25 dollar crash card cases and watch this durability test i've done a lot of testing this is one of the personal favorite cases when i don't have any skins i do use this thing here so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching guys this is Saurabh. i'll catch you next video have a great day